Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and uh, thank you for checking in. Here we are. Uh, I'm Number one, I'm sorry if this review ends up being uh, impetuously conducted, if it's done a little haphazardly. Caution thrown to the wind, right? But this needed to be done, and it needed to be done ASAP. Because sometimes when I peruse around, I see what items get released, which ones uh, people are talking about, which uh, new releases there might be. Sometimes you get one that just hits you. I know, that was a jump scare right there, and I'm sorry I didn't warn everyone about it. Uh, but sometimes you get one that just hits you, and you say, this one is a total game changer. And uh, this is one of those things. We're at Del Taco. Well, I should say we have Del Taco, unless, you know, Del Taco suddenly uh, remodeled everything and now it looks like, looks like this, where I've, maybe I've secretly been breaking into Del Taco to film my reviews there every single time. Who knows? Who knows? It's, uh, it's all a big, a big mystery right now. It's like Scooby-Doo. Um, either way, I don't normally review Del Taco, but they are a taco chain. Uh, for any, you know, introductions, Del Taco is a chain that's largely, you know, it's kind of like Taco Bell. Some people say that it's better than Taco Bell. You know, you get a little bit of a rivalry. Some people, they say, oh, I love the Taco Bell. Uh, others are loyalists toward Del Taco. And Del Taco is largely, I think they're more prominent in, like, uh, the western United States, if I'm not mistaken. There aren't all that many on the East Coast, but there are a couple, and I was able to uh, uh, secure this newest release from Del Taco. Here's what's got people talking. This is their crispy chicken taco. So Del Taco is introducing crispy chicken to the menu, and this is big news. Uh, this has people, uh, people talking right now. It's got it's got people running around in circles in the streets, and they're just kind of waving their arms around and they're yelling, um, sometimes incoherently because of the sheer excitement. This is one of those releases that, like I said, is a game changer. Some people, again, they don't even know how to comprehend this, and they're just running around aimlessly because uh, this is such big news. And uh, is this going to be the item that kind of defeats Taco Bell? We're going to see because Del Taco is uh, releasing crispy chicken strips. You can get these actually just as chicken strips, believe it or not, even from a taco place. A little basket of uh, you know chicken, uh, chicken fingers, chicken tenders, whatever you want to call them. Or you can get one of those chicken strips on a taco or a burrito, and uh, we're trying out their taco. And this is a good deal. For $1, and that's just the price, just $1, you can get their crispy chicken taco. It comes with a crispy fried chicken strip, grated cheddar cheese, lettuce, and creamy ranch sauce. Now, you could also get a variant of this crispy chicken taco with uh, habanero sauce, but I decided, you know what? I'm just, because everyone's talking about the ranch one, so we're going to try the one with the ranch, but I did get some of their hot sauce on the side that we're going to uh, maybe even spice it up a little bit, and we're going to try it out. Okay, one dollar for a taco is a pretty good deal, and, you know, similar to Taco Bell, Taco Bell has those types of deals as well, you know, just a buck for a taco, and it's pretty good. Here it is, Del Taco, fresh Mexican grill, and, uh... Looks like some boulders or something. I don't know what those really are. Maybe it's just an abstract design. There it is. And, uh, we got the sauces here. Mild sauce, medium sauce, hot sauce. We're just going to try all three of them out. promo right there. Let's unwrap this and let's see what we got. Okay, here's the view of it. All right, now here's what we got. You can see the crispy chicken in there. You can see the lettuce, the uh, cheese, as they say on their website and emphasize the grated cheese and kind of peering in imagine like you're kind of looking down the grand canyon right now okay maybe you're like a little helicopter or something and you're looking down and you can see into it this sea of uh of chicken 
some of the ranch there. You got the cheese on the top. And then let's look at from the other end. And you can see real close up that chicken. So that's what's on it. Got a view of it. And there's me with it. Let's uh, just do this for the thumbnail real quick. Something like that, right? And uh, yeah, that's what it's got in it. So you can see it's got, uh, it's small, you know, it's a smaller taco, but again, for a buck, that's a good deal. You can't really complain there. So it's got the uh, crispy fried chicken strip, which does go the whole length of the taco. Uh, it's got that cheddar cheese, lettuce, and it looks like it's got a little bit of uh, the creamy ranch dressing, though not a ton. So we're going to try it out. We're going to see what this tastes like. And uh, then we'll put some of those little sauces on it, and we'll see how that works. So, that said, uh, it is the crispy chicken taco from Del Taco going in. Is this going to change the world? Let's find out. When it comes down to a basic item like this, you only really need to have a few bites to really, you know, be able to be able to get it, to be able to know what's what's in it, what substance there is to it, and uh, how it tastes. On its own, if I had to describe it, I would definitely say that it's average, uh, to the extent that it's not necessarily something that, and I know I've said this before, because it's true. Now, it's not one of those items that necessarily blows me away, but it's pretty good for what it is. Uh, now, don't expect, like, the world's highest quality uh, crispy fried chicken strip when it comes down to this. It's your standard. I mean, it's basic. It's not the world's most flavorful thing. Um, the chicken itself, the one thing that I, I, I kind of notice is that, and let's take a little bit of a closer look. The chicken looks like it is breaded and has this little bit of, like, a black pepper, you know, seasoning to it. I can't really taste that at all. You know, when I bite in, I distinctly notice that crunch that the chicken strip has. Uh, so I really notice that right off the bat, because the rest of it, of course, is very soft. You have the soft tortilla, the lettuce, the cheese, and then you get that real crunch that comes in from that chicken strip. Uh, the chicken itself, though, again, looking at a little bit of a cross section here, still a good amount of it. I mean, you can definitely see it's not a tiny little strip of it, and it's not a huge taco either, so there's a good portion size of the chicken that I appreciate, and I like the crunchiness that it has also. Uh, chicken itself, though, is flavorful. It's like your basic uh, fast food, you know, fried chicken strip. Uh, I would I would have probably said that if you just had these on their own uh, as like a basket of chicken fingers or strips or whatever you want to call them, these would need a dipping sauce. Well, the good news is that while the chicken is flavorful, but again, it might be lacking a little bit, hey, guess what? It does have a sauce on it. It's got that creamy ranch dressing. And the ranch is okay. Uh, you know, a lot of the times, what I always like about the ranch dressing is that it usually has a little bit of a, a little bit of a sharpness to it. In some cases, a tang. Um, I just, I always like that little bit of a sharpness that the ranch dressing has. Uh, this one didn't seem as sharp as it sometimes is, and I wish it was just a little more potent, a little more flavorful. The ranch could just be boosted up a little bit more, and then I would definitely um, say that this taco would be pretty would be really good. You know, it's it's good as it is, but it would bring it up to the next level if that ranch sauce was uh, a little more flavorful. But otherwise, the lettuce is basic. Um, the cheddar cheese, it gives it a little bit of a cheesiness. You know, it works well. Uh, it's an inoffensive amount of the cheese. It blends together nicely. It's totally fine. So overall, as it is, um, I would definitely say that this uh, this taco is... Uh, it's pretty basic for what it's for what it's worth. It's a basic taco, and it's around average. You know, it tastes good, but it, there's still things that could bring it up to the next level. Certain things that it might be lacking slightly with could make it a little more flavorful. But overall, it's decent. And again, I like the crunch that it that it has to it. 
Now, I'm not going to have the time to try all three of these, so I'm going to try the hottest one, uh, of course. I, I, to tell you the truth, I think it's kind of funny how they color these, you know, because you would think, right, this would be the mild sauce, this would be the hot sauce, and then this would be the hottest one, right? You'd think that's how it would be. Um, but in reality, th this one is the medium sauce, this one is the original, and this one's the hottest one. And they call this one uh, Del Inferno. So we're just going to try that. We're going to dump some of this on, and we're going to see what that does, how that works. But price-wise for this is a dollar. So, I mean, really, look, you're paying a buck for this. It's pretty cheap. Uh, you can't really complain all that much. So now we'll try that out. A little bit of a clash between the hot sauce and the ranch, but overall it's still it's still okay. Uh, definitely if you want to put some hot sauce, it'll spice it up, make it a bit more flavorful. Nothing wrong with that. And um, hey, maybe down the line we'll try the one with the uh, habanero sauce as well. So, out of 10, I'm going to be giving this crispy chicken taco from Del Taco, uh, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Again, it's decent, slightly above average, but it does need a little bit more room for improvement flavor-wise, to really get up to that next level. But it's still okay for what it is, and that's all that I have for you. Be safe, be healthy, and do take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.